Okay, I have my two panels ready to glue up, right? So this is the left side, that's the right side. And I'm being careful to keep these in order. Remember that we line them up one and one, two and two, three and three. We've also jointed this edge, table saw on that edge, jointed that edge so that those go together well, table saw it to make it parallel and then joint it, joint it and table saw it so that those go together. So first I'm going to glue this one, then I'll glue that one. I'm going to do a dry fit. I want to clamp at least or approximately every other space. So notice there's an extra space here, that's okay. And there's an extra space here, that's okay. But I want to get at least five clamps on each of these panels and I'm going to alternate whether they're underneath or over the top. So this one is going to go there, this one is going to go there. But the order that I clamp them together will be helpful. They aren't just laying flat by themselves, so we have to force them to do it. We start in the middle, clamp it, and then our work our way out. These are called pipe clamps because of the pipe. Their technical name is a bar clamp because of the bar, but because the bar is a pipe, hence we nickname it a pipe clamp. And these are the ones you want to be using. They're the strongest clamps in the shop. This adjusts by pulling these, and they'll pull out, and then after you release them, they grab onto the bar. So bring them in like this, and then you just turn the handle to lock it in. Now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that these are lined up. I've got to be strategic about this and I can't let there be more than about a 32nd of an inch difference in height. So I, I'm just arranging them. Um, using my other hand, I'm pulling this up to make it flush with that one. And then I put the clamp on it. That looks good. Clamp it down tight. I don't care about there. You can see there's some problems. I don't care about here, just right there. Now I move to the next one. This one's gonna go over the top. Same thing, so I'm checking this for flush and that for flush. And I can manipulate this board, right? See how I can change the way that looks? And I just care about right where the clamp is. And then I snug it down. Now I go to my next one. That's a problem, so I gotta bring it up. Now this is tight, it's, it's hard to move this. So you can use these clamps to help you. And in this case, I'm gonna put it right on that gap. And that just brings it right into alignment. That's so easy. I'm gonna put another one right there. Now, if that doesn't do the job, you can also see how I can manipulate just by twisting this back and forth, how high that is. And sometimes I can get things to move uh, deeper in the board if I need to. So snug that one down. Once that's tight, these can be removed. And I'll probably use them down to the other end. Right, let's move to the next clamp. This is just a dry fit. There's no glue on this. That is stuck. So I'm just going to give it a little persuasion. Checking to see if it's flush. That one's not flush enough. That one feels good. So I'm manipulating the boards. So they're flush right there under the clamp. Snug it up. Okay, so see the serious problems here. 
we got to fix that. You might be in question why we do this. If we were to clamp these together with it so far off, I'm going to have to plane that much off my board just to get it flush with that one. On this side, I'm going to have to flush that. I'm going to have to plane that much off my board. And I'm only going to be left with that. And I don't know that that's enough material. I need to finish at 13 sixteenths. So now you can see why we have to start with 15 sixteenths boards because it's hard not to make them vary a little bit. And even right here, there's a little bit of variance, but not more than a 30 second. And if there's a lot, we're just not gonna be able to maintain the thickness that we need later. Don't use boards that have already been planed down. They're too thin and you'll just can't make it. So let's flush these up. And with that clamp, it comes together really quite easy. We force them to do what we want. Tighten it down. <coughs> Take those off. All right, now we can look at our joinery. We gotta make sure that this is nice and clean. I want no gaps. A black line will sometimes indicate a small gap. The only way this thing glues together well is it's a nice positive contact between this board and this board. Any gaps at all, and it just doesn't glue well. This looks great. Off times, there'll be a gap, and it's caused because you have a table saw on edge or a rough edge, and it needs to be corrected. You must have tight joints. You must have it nice and flush. You must use five clamps, alternating top and bottom. Looks good. Let's glue it. Okay, so this one comes up. That one comes up. Put a bead of glue down each edge. And with my finger, I'm spreading the glue. I've got to cover the whole surface. Don't assume that this will spread because it doesn't generally the way you want it to. So I just make sure to cover it. And any excess, I'm just gonna put on the board. As I go to clamp this, sometimes those boards will start to slip. The glue is acting like a lubricant rather than an adhesive. That's because it just takes a minute for it to start grabbing. So I'm running my finger along the top here, making sure that I'm within a 32nd of an inch as I clamp it down. And if not, I just adjust it. And slow clamp. That's adequate. Move to the next one. Same thing. I care about right underneath the clamp, not here at the end. Make sure it's flush. Slowly pull that clamp together. Make sure they're not creeping anywhere on you. That looks good. And my final. I remember I need those red Bessies to help me out. Put that one there. Bring 
out together. I'm putting a significant amount of pressure onto these clamps. Notice I'm not beating it with a mallet though. I'm just tightening it up it's really snug. And I don't want these shifting around. Okay, let's move the other way. Slight change there, so I've got to manipulate the boards. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Snug it up. Anymore. These are tight. Now I got to get rid of this glue. I either do it now or later after the glue's dried. And I've got to, much easier to do it now. So I'm just going to use a putty knife. And a wet cloth. Often what I'll do, instead of just smearing my rag with glue, I'll get a piece of wood out of the garbage can that is getting thrown away, and I'll use that as my throwaway piece. I'm having a hard time getting underneath clamps. That's pretty normal. I'll have to get that off later with a scraper. I can take them off now and get them off and then reposition them. <coughs> that works too. But usually I don't do that. I don't want to readjust it. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over. Take a look at this side. All right, so all this squeeze out and you can see it squeezes onto the table. That's what this is for, so that we can disregard this glue and not make a mess on the other tables. Now you can do a glue up like this on an assembly table, one of those, but please clean up this mess when you do it. Whereas here, I don't care. Last step, put my name on it. Uh, your period is a great thing to put on there. And then also put the time that it needs to come off out of clamps. The glue, yellow glue, sets after 15 minutes. That means we are not gonna break this apart in just a small 15 minutes. Cure time means that it completely dries and hardens. That won't happen for 24 hours. But setup, the glue for it to set up is only 15 minutes. So looking at the clock, it's 1030. So at 1045, this is ready to come out of clamps. Until that time, I'm gonna set it over there out of the way so that I can use this table for my next glue up or somebody else can use it for the next glue up. Slide just like that. Now let's talk a little bit about this etiquette on this table. Don't leave your stuff here. Everybody needs to use this table, so get it over there. After 15 minutes, you can take the clamps off of it and put it in your cubby. If you don't uh, want to do that, you can just leave it there until next time. However, realize that somebody else might take it off. We have a lot of clamps, but we eventually run out and students need to use clamps. So the rule of thumb is you can remove clamps off of those projects if the timestamp says it's time. You then put the project on the other side 
in an organized fashion and use the clamps. So sometimes if you're not finding your stuff there, look there because someone else has used your clamps.